You're watching WMAR 2 News. Baltimore City Police are looking for the man they say raped a teenage girl and also stabbed a woman on two separate occasions. I'm Christian Schaefer. This is your WMAR 2 News update. Investigators say December 15th of last year, 20 year old Marquise Henry raped a 13 year old girl in East Baltimore. Five days later, police say he attacked a 21 year old woman in Northwest Baltimore, stabbing her 14 times. She wound up being released from the hospital, but then Thursday of last week, police say Marquise Henry attacked her again, stabbing her several more times. Call police if you have any idea where he might be. Today, friends and family will be remembering the life of a local high school student who died in a car crash. Lamar Patterson was a junior at St. Francis High School in Baltimore. He was on his way to school in February 2nd when his car was hit by a light rail train in Anne Arundel County. Patterson had gotten scholarship offers from nearly two dozen colleges and universities. There's a visitation for him today, 5 to 6 this evening at Huber Community Life Center on Lock Raven Boulevard, and then the celebration of life will follow that. A Towson native is moving on in Jeopardy's National college championship. It was down to just two players for final jeopardy with Kristen Donegan in the lead. She had $15,200, the student from Yale, 10,200. The final answer was a 2021 book about his misunderstood reign argues that he hated slavery and suffered from bipolar disorder. Now they both got it wrong. It was King George III, but Kristen bet low, giving her the win with $9,999. She's a senior at Carnegie Mellon now advancing to the semifinals. That is going to be Friday night right here on WMAR. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Wednesday, Maryland. We have a mix of sunshine and clouds in store for today and temperatures are going to climb back above normal. So we are going to feel warmer than we were the past couple of days, low to mid 50s. That's going to be our high temperatures as we head into the afternoon, all thanks to this southerly wind flow sustained around 10 to 20, especially over the bay. That's where winds are going to be a little bit stronger, but gusts on top of that could actually range up to 30 miles per hour, especially north and west of I-95. So hang on to your hat today. But as we head into your Thursday night, we'll start to see that cloud cover increase all associated with this cold front that will be moving in from west to east, possibly bringing some locally heavy rainfall and of course gusty winds. As we take a look at your 7 day forecast for the weekend, starting off breezy highs right around the lower 50s, more seasonal into Sunday. Stevie, thanks very much. Stay with us online at WMAR2news.com all day long for updates on top stories and breaking news. For news weather on the go, you can download the WMAR2 News app from the App Store or just follow us on social media at WMAR2news. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer.